Exempt. Making custom simple. Need help filling out your C-17 accompanied baggage declaration? We'll show you how. For the C-17 form, you will need the following. Your flight information, the receipts of items purchased abroad, and if you plan to add passengers, ensure that everyone you intend to add has completed their user profiles. Begin the form by selecting the Bahamas Digital Entry Card, also known as Form C-17, adorned with the Bahamian Coat of Arms. On this page, confirm that your name is displayed correctly in the passenger list. If your name shows up in lowercase letters or is spelled incorrectly, go back to your profile and scan your passport again before filling out the C-17 form. You can also proceed with the declaration if you wish, but you will not be able to complete the declaration if your user profile is not properly completed. Add passengers if traveling with relatives. Select the Add Passenger button to add passengers one by one. Please note that this is only reserved for relatives living in the same household. If you are traveling alone, you can skip this step and proceed by selecting Next. Continuing with adding your passengers. Scan your passenger's passport using the camera icon. By scanning the passport, the following fields automatically fill in. Passport number, first name, middle name, and last name. Then select the relationship of the passenger to the person making the declaration. Select whether or not your passenger wishes to use their exemption for this declaration. And then save your passenger. Repeat this step for as many passengers you have traveling with you. Next, enter your flight information in the fields provided, including travel date, meaning date of arrival, airline or vessel name, flight or vessel number, number of party, meaning how many people are traveling with you inclusive of yourself, where you departed from before arriving in the Bahamas, including country, state, and city boarded. Also enter the number of checked-in bags and the number of carry-on bags. Enter your trip length as a digit for example, 5, and then enter length as time range, meaning days, weeks, months, or years. If you have no items to declare to customs, select nothing to declare and select next. Please also note, only select nothing to declare if you have no items to declare with customs, otherwise leave it unchecked and declare your items. Failure to comply could result in fines or forfeiture of goods. Whether or not you plan to use your exemption for the items purchased while away, you still have to declare them. But declaring items can be easy. To declare your items, select the Add Items button. Did you know that you can group like items that fall under the same category? First enter your quantity. If using the grouping method, let the quantity remain as one. Then choose your item category. Then select whether the items in this grouping are new or used. Choose from the drop-down listing of stores, and if the store that you're looking for is not listed, you can manually enter it by erasing the placeholder that states purchased or purchased from and type it in. If you are purchasing from multiple stores for the same category, you can enter the store as various to save time. Then enter your description for the items declared. For cost, Enter the full amount you spent on all items in this category grouping according to the sum listed on your receipts. Then enter any sales tax applicable. Repeat for as many item categories as you have. Next, you will be taking pictures of your receipts. To add your receipts, select the plus icon. For Apple devices, select the camera option to open the camera in the app. For Android devices, select the camera icon. Take pictures of your receipts. Ensure that you take clear and legible pictures. You can group your receipts in pictures so long as they are readable. Do not cut off the corners of your receipts when taking pictures. Alcoholic items and tobacco products are declared separately from the other items. If you have any alcoholic items, feel free to declare them in this page. If this does not apply to you, select Next to skip this page. On the page that follows, you can declare your tobacco products should you have any. Once again, if this does not apply, you can skip this page as well. Answer the currency declaration to state whether or not you are carrying any currency or monetary instrument of $10,000 or above. By declaring yes to the currency declaration, 
you will be required to present Bahamas Customs with the currency or monetary instrument for inspection. Under Exemption Status, select the checkbox if you intend to use your exemption. By selecting this, you will use one of your exemption allowances and your total will reflect accordingly. Accept the declaration to say that your submission is true and correct as far as it concerns you. Finally, select the Calculate and Save button to save your record. This is where the form saves. If you do not get to this point, your draft will not be saved. After saving, you will be directed to the summary page. Review your information as you scroll down to the bottom of the page. You will then be met with the following options. Edit form. Go back and edit your information. Submit to customs, meaning you are going to submit with the intention to pay at the local customs cashier if there is a payable amount. Pay now. Pay online using your Visa debit or credit card. Close. Close your draft and continue at a later time. Here you also have the option of turning your exemption on or off. If you previously decided not to check Use My Exemption on the previous screen, you can select the blue hyperlink stating Exemption. Select Yes and wait a moment for the exemption to apply to your declaration. Your declaration will then be adjusted to reflect a new total with your exemption applied. Lastly, submit your declaration by selecting the Submit to Customs button. Ensure that you confirm your submission before proceeding to Bahamas Customs. Once you have submitted your C-17 form, you can proceed to the customs officer to have your luggage checked. All customs will require from you is your passport to scan and bring up your submitted declaration and information. Editing your records. To edit your completed declarations or uncompleted drafts, scroll down to the bottom of the home page and select Edit My Forms. Select the form type. For this example, we will choose the C-17 accompanied baggage declaration. Under Completed, you can view your declaration once it has been submitted. Or if you would like to make changes after your submission, you can submit an edit request to put it into a draft state. Under Uncompleted, you can edit your drafts by selecting the Edit Form option. You are then able to edit your drafted declaration. Select the Pencil tool to edit an item. You can also select the trash can to delete it. You can add additional receipts using the plus button, and you can even add additional passengers to your declaration at this point. We hope this guide makes things a little easier for you. Follow us on social media to keep abreast with all the latest news and updates from Bahamas Customs. We also have a full playlist of how-to videos to aid you in making exempt work for you.